Hello lovelies, it's G here with Golden Thread Tarot. How are you doing today? I hope you're feeling as wonderful and as blessed and abundant as I am feeling. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm here to bring you another channeled message. All right? I don't know why I said it like that, but you know, the drama. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, maybe that has something to do with the message that's going to come out today. I'm hearing leaving behind drama. So that is what's up. Like, goodbye, goodbye. You know, I'm dramatic enough on my own. Not like drama as in like, you know, confrontation and things like that, but just the theater of everything. That's how I am. I'm just like, yes, like I have arrived. I'm here. Yes, hello. Um, anyway, maybe that's how you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling bold and bright, confident. Maybe you're feeling like really good about yourself. You're feeling really high vibrational, very queen of wands feeling that I'm getting king, king, king or queen of wands, especially queen of wands, just feeling very just high priestess mode as well. You know, high priestess, like getting into your empress, feeling very nine of pinnacles, feeling just like chef's kiss, like things, life is beautiful. I'm feeling really good about myself. You know, I'm, um, I'm really getting that, um, <laughs> that Ariana Grande song, Thank You Next, that thank you, thank you next. Wow, my lights just flashed as soon as I did that. So absolutely like, I'm so fucking grateful for my ex. Thank you, next. Like, yes, like it's, which really resonates, right? Because right here with this Moonology card that, they, that Spirit wanted me to pull today, okay, right here with this, what do you need to release, right? Like release all of this drama, release release all any of the, the chaos, release any of the low vibrational energies or anything like that that was just kind of like clogging you down, you know, blocking any kind of blockages that you had inside yourself. I really feel like this kind of just like release or like release of all of this and letting go of it and just really just, yes, like this is, it right and I also have here that spirit already pulled this could be the one right so I'm really feeling like that's the energy that spirit wants to talk about they want to talk about all the things that you've released that you are releasing that you're already releasing right and this could be the one and I really feel like it's like this could be the one you're finding that one inside of yourself right you're like this is it this this is she this is he this is the real me right like wow this is the person I always knew that I could be and, you know, I have arrived. Here I am. Hello. <laughs> you know, and it's just like getting better from here. So that is beautiful. Okay. I really hope this is resonating with you guys. Okay. Because wow. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing energy that you guys are in. That's amazing. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Right. Emotions are running high. Okay. One more. Yes. Prosperity lies ahead. Absolutely. Newman and Taurus. Yeah, it's very grounded. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> yes, have faith in your dreams. You're having faith in yourself. A new start is coming. There it is, right? You're having faith in yourself. You're feeling this. You're feeling yourself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself, right? Absolutely. Ooh, I love that energy for you guys. Okay, and exactly. A win-win outcome is forecast. Like, baby, like, this is it. Like, we're moving forward. We're getting it. I love this energy for you guys. This is amazing, Okay. And if any of you aren't there, if this if this energy isn't resonating, like, it's coming. Keep believing yourself. Like, know that it's coming for you, okay? Have faith in those dreams, baby. Yes, your commitment is being tested, right? Exactly. So if you aren't quite feeling here yet, just keep, just, just know, like, keep committed on this. Keep going forward. Keep pushing yourself forward because you're going to get there, okay? Exactly. Your emotions might be running a little high right now. Maybe you're, you know... I'm hearing that some of you might have had a dream uh, that has really helped you kind of like release your ex or kind of like giving you some kind of piece of information. I don't know. So you just had a dream, then you woke up from it and you were just like, yeah, like I know the direction forward. I know that the direction is forward, not looking back anymore. It's moving forward onto my next stage, onto the next one, onto, you know, just, yeah. Thank you next. Like, thank you for all the experiences and everything that I experienced in my life in the past, you know, and it's helped me build and it's helped me grow and it's helped me become the person that I am now. And I love this person because I have become even more myself than I've ever allowed myself to be. Right. So, wow. 
that's brilliant that's beautiful i love that so freaking much for you guys like yes healing family issues exactly letting go of the past right forgiving letting go of the past and just moving on i'm hearing glow up a lot of you are experiencing a glow up here okay especially like emotionally like just feeling very confident and just like happy with yourself yes what was i saying romantic feelings absolutely just feeling those romantic feelings about yourself feeling sexy as hell like hell yeah thank you spirit releasing that x exactly thank you next on to the next one right the time has come to clear your energy and you're feeling that you're like absolutely goodbye you're keeping an open mind about who you are who you're going to be the next stages of your life coming in and having that openness of heart and mind is allowing the universe to bring that new positive energy into your life so yes mm -hmm. Thank you, Nash. I'm so fucking grateful for my ex. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because why? Why? Because because why were you so grateful? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. you this ex taught you the red, the, the red flags, the signs of how to protect yourself, of how to let go of these things that don't serve you anymore inside of yourself also and inside of seeing those things inside of other people and being able to be like swerve, like on to the next one, goodbye, let going, letting go of control issues, allowing the situation to just show itself to you naturally, right? Okay, I'm hearing two more. Wow, I love this. Yeah, exactly. I was hearing that, um, saying thanks to my dad because I grew from the drama, right? Like what you went through in your past with your parents, with healing your father wounds, your mother wounds, doing those things, all of the things, you're realizing that those things don't have to, that they don't define you, but they, but like, it's really not those bad things happening to you that define you. It's how you rise above them that defines you. It's the courage you find inside of yourself when you're facing those things and releasing them and moving on from them, right? It's the person that you find buried underneath all of those things that give you strength, that define who you are. It's because you're not letting those things keep you down. That's what's defining you, right? It's not the negative thing that's defining you. It's how you reacted, how you responded, how you grew from the negative things that happened to you, right? The choices that you made since then oh yes and facing that codependency inside of yourself right and inside of other people as well beautiful yes oh yeah yeah a really yeah exactly this definitely has to do with your childhood you know yeah you could have you could have children and that could be affecting what's going on right now too because maybe you're like oh, i see my kids i want to be better for them even if you don't have kids yet maybe you want children in the you know in the future and you're like i don't want these cycles to repeat anymore right or you're looking at your kids now grow up and get older and you're like I want to break those cycles. I don't want my kids to have to deal with the same stuff I did. And I definitely don't want to be the one making them have to deal with it. So I'm dealing with it now so that I am breaking those generational curses and my family is moving forward in a positive direction. Okay, right. And a big codependency for you guys is letting go of control issues, right? And you realize, I feel like a lot of you are realizing you had these control issues because of the things that you experienced in your childhood, because you experienced a lack of control in your childhood or a lack of control in your past. And so you felt a little more controlling, like if I control myself or control my actions or try to co manipulate or control other people, right, in my life, I can save myself. I can, you know, I can shield myself. And you're realizing that the shield never really helped you. It, it stopped you from growing, if anything, like it held you down, right? And now you're just like, it's time to let go of this. It's time to release. It's time to move on. Thank you, next, right? Like, thank you for my past. I see what I was supposed to learn. On to the next, right? Oh, that is so beautiful. What's behind that? Oh, yes, I love that. Okay, I was feeling like, what's behind this? Love yourself first. Absolutely, loves absolutely your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive yeah and i'm telling you it's bringing in some kind of reconciliation right either with your past self like your pa like a like a past version of yourself before you were jaded before you dealt with all of the the things before you had to grow up and you know you had to be like this really responsible person not saying that you're not being responsible but right but taking yourself back to that true version of yourself it's very six of cups right very before you know, when I was at my most raw, real state, right, before I was, you know, 
changed or are made to be this way or that way or started, you know, started mocking my parents or, or mocking other people or mocking what society told me I was supposed to be, who I really genuinely am, the real version of myself, showing the world who I really, really am, right? Wow. Let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Letting go of five of cups and this five, right? Five, five with that changing. Letting go of this five of cups, regrets and things like that from your past and letting go of isolation, uh, like how you felt abandoned, you know, abandonment issues and things like that that you felt in your past. Letting go of all of that. That's all part of healing your father, your mother, your parent wounds, okay? And letting go of that codependency that you got, that you gained from that and letting go of it. Have faith in your, or let's do what you need to release, what you need to release. Yeah, seven of pentacles, okay? You're seeing, right? You're seeing what seeds you planted in the past, you know? You're looking at it, you're examining it, and you're being like, when I plant seeds from a point of codependency, when I plant seeds from a point of lack, it doesn't grow the way that I want it to. But if I take this time to actually plant these seeds of growth, of confidence, of belief, when I take the time to really water myself, right? I see you know, I see myself grow, right? And I don't have to think, you know, that I won't or that I can't succeed or that I can't do this. I 100% can, right? A new start is coming. I know, they want to do, I have faith in my dreams, okay? I have faith in my dreams. Yeah, Knight of Wands, a lot of you are being really guided forward on some kind of creative endeavor, endeavor, especially with some kind of creative speech. Either um, either you are giving speeches, either you're writing, you're drawing, you're painting, you're creating. It's something, something along the lines of that creative energy inside of yourself is really pushing you forward. Absolutely. Um, with this. Um, six of six of swords in reverse. So you're like, if I stay stuck in the drama, right? Full card in reverse. Um, in the past, I stayed stuck in the drama. Or in the past, I stayed stuck in in this this thought process that you know that I couldn't do it, that things were too complicated, that I couldn't make it, that I didn't have the strength or the skill or whatever it was, whatever insecurity it was that held you back. You you know you're not feeling that anymore. You're realizing that was holding you back from your new beginnings, right? From your fresh start. A new start is coming. Yeah, two of swords. You have a choice, okay? There's a choice. Um, something maybe, maybe perhaps this fresh start is something that you don't really see coming, that's going to kind of come out of the blue, right? As you're working on yourself, as you're growing yourself, as you're believing in yourself, as you're like working on these creative endeav you know, endeavors and you're doing what you need to do, right? There's going to be a choice that's going to be presented to you. Or just it's something that maybe perhaps in the past was blocked off to you, but may, but, um, I'm really feeling like it's something you don't see coming, like something you don't see coming, okay? Let's talk about two of swords. Maybe in the past it was blocked. Okay, look, yeah, I saw. I just looked down and saw that with this Emperor in, in reverse card, right? That overly controlling, the codependency, the control issues, that what was blocking this new start from happening for you. Two of swords, we can do a little bit more clarifying for this two of swords, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Your new start was kind of hidden for you or was blocked from you in the past until you released some of this codependency, okay? The Hierophant, until you came, right? It, this was God. This was the divine, you know? Uh, it was part of your contract. It was part of your karmic lessons that you needed to learn, right? Your commitment is being tested. You needed to learn these lessons first, right? You needed to be shown. You needed to stop looking away from your own codependency, from old leftover mindsets that had le been left behind you and your parents and an ex-lovers and an ex-friendships, one, three, 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 down on the clock, right? And spirit was like, hey, look, I got to guide you through this first, okay? Absolutely. Otherwise, you can't have this wish fulfillment that you want so much. Two of swords. Did something flip? No. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Two of Swords, yes? Yes. It's close. What's on the back? Five of Swords, yeah. So there there was a little bit of competitive energy here, either within yourself against somebody else or somebody else was kind of seeing you and kind of trying to kind of block your way a little bit. Yeah, to slow you down. Yeah, look. Yeah, 
and give you anxiety and worry, exactly, and to kind of hold your progress and keep you stuck in your mind. Two of swords, right? Absolutely. Blocked. Somebody was being greedy and trying to keep you lost in confusion, okay? But that's ending. With this, There's a seven of swords in reverse after that, too. So that's ending. But it was all part, the stagnancy, it was all part of the plan, is what I'm hearing. It was all part of you pausing right now, you moving slow but steady and finding your way, okay? Slow but steady, but for sure, finding your way. Yeah, it could have been a person that was in and out energy, in and out of your life, okay? Some kind of like controlling X or something like that from your past, but it's like that you're moving on from this energy, right? Exactly. And getting into this nine, this nine of uh, pinnacles energy. Yeah. Also, I definitely feel like you're healing from some kind of betrayal as well, like somebody turning their back on you or somebody um, just kind of like trying to work against you, but you're like, nah, I'm moving on from that, okay? Your commitment is being tested. Yeah, are you going to put in the work? You know, eight of pentacles in reverse. Are you going to put in the work required for this? There's something that you need to work on, something that you have been neglecting. Five of wands, yeah. Five of wands in reverse. Um, perhaps you were doing it because you were comparing yourself to other people, okay? You thought that for sure that you would fail. You thought that for sure that you weren't going to make this work. You know, like, how, how am I really going to make this work? How am I going to make going back to school and taking classes? How am I really going to put this business together? How am I really going to put, you know whatever it was, you know, I feel like I need somebody to be there to help me or whatever it was that was holding you back, right? Um, I really feel like it was this fear of failure. It also was a fear of um, And it was like a concentrate, like concentrate and make it through this. There was this very back and forth. I can, no, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. This is what I'm supposed to do. No, that's what I'm supposed to do. Kind of very back and forth and back and forth and back and forth kind of action, right? And it and it was it, it needed to end. That back and forth, that fear, that fear of defeat, that fear of lack, it needed to end before, you know, that was the test that you needed to go through. Yeah. To get six of cups. What did I say? Right? Absolutely. To get either some kind of union with yourself and like another energy or with yourself in a past energy, a past version of yourself, right? This very nostalgia. And it's, it is also releasing this from the past, right? Healing those family issues. Um, I know sometimes you guys are like, I'm tired of hearing about childhood issues or childhood problems, but sometimes we can underestimate how much that stuff really does hold us back from moving on. How much, you know, how much those things from our past can really feed into our insecurities and can really hold us back from being the best version of ourselves that we can be, you know, allowing ourselves to believe in that, in that clear, you know, focused, most, you know, I'm hearing like crystallized. I'm not sure exactly what that, maybe that, you know, resonates for you, but the, the, the most just like clear, like version of yourself that you can be exactly right. Queen of Pentacles, drawing in that abundance to yourself. Absolutely. Let's talk more about this five of wands here, please. Here. Almost flipped, but we'll keep going. You want to do, Okay. Knight of Swords. I feel like in the past there was there was either some kind of truth that you needed to learn about yourself or about a person, about some kind of situation that you were giving a lot to, some situation that was a big commitment test for you. And now that you've decided to walk away from that mindset, to walk away from that person, whatever it is, now there can be like this clearing, like the Six of Cups energy here. Yes, thank you, Spirit, because Will of Fortune, it's your destiny. Six of Cups is your destiny to come into union with this, with this, with this new slash old version of yourself, right? Um, rediscovering yourself. Um, it was all part of the divine plan. It was all part of happening in divine time, right? There were lessons, as we always say, you come in contact with karmic energies. There are lessons that, you know, that cycle repeats itself until you finally learn those lessons and you finally can release and can finally let go and move on to the next stage of your journey, right? Exactly. Because there was a piece, there was some kind of piece of information that came forward that really... <clears throat> 
my goodness, that really just helps you learn, right? I learned from the past. I was wounded in the past, but guess what? That the, the things that I went through in the past, right? They built me and make me a stronger version of myself now. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. For some reason, Spirit wants me to go back and talk more about this Knight of Wands. Wow, that turned so quick. Okay. Okay. Oops, I'm on the floor too. Yeah, okay, exactly. So there were definitely some burdens, okay? You felt a little burdened by this this gift or this this dream that you had. Like, it's like, I'm hearing, <laughs> this is fair. It's like he, feeling the bur like the, that burdened with great purpose, right? Burdened, you felt slightly burdened about this purpose that you found inside of yourself, right? And it kind of subconsciously, you were a little bit holding yourself back. There were things that you needed to discover about yourself, right? Hangman in reverse though, you have come to that enlightenment, right? You found that enlightenment, right? You came and discovered the sun, right? You found that that thing that you needed to find inside of yourself, you know, that needed that thing about yourself that needed to change or that you needed to accept or that you needed to love, that you needed to let go of, all of those things all together, right? So that the world, you could enter a new, a brand new cycle. I'm also hearing travel for a lot of you. Just finding like this really this new cycle of happiness that's coming that's coming now right but it's like hangman you had to be put in this hangman pause energy until you learned the lessons right from a karmic okay there was definitely a, a, a masculine karmic energy in your life that you needed to learn those lessons from okay that could have been a fire sign also i'm hearing but you just needed to learn those lessons also a water sign i'm hearing that too be a fire or a water sign Okay, wow, showing themselves again, definitely, okay? Yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots of lessons. I feel like this is some kind of karmic energy that you that comes up again and again and again in a cycle, whether or not in this lifetime or in past lifetimes, right? They come up again and again, and they represent this codependency that you need to break yourself from. Yeah, there's like secrets around this person. This person tries to stay very secretive that the eventually secrets that eventually come out, right? That this person kind of wants to keep you stuck. Yeah, and wants to stop you from this new beginning. But it's like this was the the test. This was the karmic test. Okay, for some of you, this could have been like just a karmic. It could have been like a false flame sort of type, um, depending on who you know what journey you you resonate with, right? Or just like a really strong karmic soul tire, or soul like karmic soulmate, right? And it's and it feels very much so like you gotta learn this lesson. You had to learn this lesson before you could move on to the next stage. Yeah. Yeah. This person was placed. Exactly. This was the block that was placed in your life. This person stood in the, in the role of options of confusing your options. Like I said, like a false flame, right? Like, is it this person or that person? Is it this way or that way? Right. That's why this person stood in your way and stood in your life. Right. That was the purpose in their life. So spirit is kind of like, Thank you next. Like, thank you for all of the, you know, thank God, not this person, right? Um, thank God, thank spirit, the universe, whatever you want to say, right? For all the lessons that this person, that this person allowed you to learn. And now it's on to the next, right? Now it's on to the next cycle, right? That's just how it goes. This person was a block put in your life to help you to help test your insecurities. Strength card in reverse, right? To test those insecurities, to test your mask, right? You had to learn page of swords, right? You had to be humbled a little bit and put by this energy and put into a, okay, I see the world for what it really is. I see myself for who I really am. I see any kind of like greed or any kind of something, ways that I hold myself back, right? That's this per this person's person. This person's purpose in your life, excuse me, right? So now six of swords in, in the up right now this time, right? Now you can walk away from the drama. Now you can walk away from this because you've learned this lesson, right? And for some of you, for some of you, this was about walking away from, from, from unhappiness, right? Emotional unhappiness, things that were, that tied you down, old mindsets about love or about the one, right? About the one, about, about who you really are and what, what the one or what being with that with that partner is supposed is really supposed is really looks like and what's it supposed to feel like and what and and how 
in the past, maybe the thoughts of tying yourself down to the one and seeing that one in somebody else instead of seeing it in yourself, right? Yeah, and seeing that there's no victory there in that mindset or there's no victory with that person. You need to defend yourself, right? This person's energy also also really heightens your defensives, right? Exactly, thank you. Queen of Wands in reverse. This person, so whoever it was, right? Whoever it was, um, that whether or not it was a masculine energy or a feminine energy, okay? They they tried to get you to match, right? We talk, we've been talking about that, how the karmics try to get you to match their karmic energy, how they how they they like to mold and manipulate other people to echo the darkness that's inside of them because they see because they have chosen or they choose to to stay low vibration or to not make those changes or those choices in their life that would raise their vibration. So they try to bring other people down or they try to hold other people back, you know, and that is just their role. It's not like a, oh, hate your karmic, oh, hate the karmic, hate the divine masculine's karmic. It's like a, that's just their role, right? That's just their role. That doesn't make what they do okay. That doesn't mean that it's justified. It doesn't mean that it's okay. But it's but it's better to see it as like, this person isn't my enemy. They are just a lesson. They are just a test that I will pass, that I will overcome, that I will get past, you know? And on the other side of it, I will be a better person, right? I will be a better person from the lessons that, I, that God taught me through them, right? Absolutely. So whoever this person is, yeah, and for, and for a lot of you, this person broke your heart, okay? This person betrayed you or broke your heart, right? But they they showed you the truth, right? Maybe they were a catalyst, right? Maybe they they awakened and put you on your spiritual journey. And because you met this person, maybe you maybe for some of you, if you do identify with being like on a twin flame journey or something like that, maybe you didn't even know about the journey until you met this person, right? And you might not have, you and you might not have, um you know, this person might not have been the one to open up their mouth and go, have you ever heard of twin flames? You know, maybe for some of you that have, or maybe you were just like, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel so, you know, why I feel this way around this person? I know that there's something here. So it's like, let me dig into it. Let me research. Let me find out page of swords. Right. So it's like a lot of them, a lot of these people, even karmic energies, you know, you will find out like, what's going on? Why do I feel this way? Why am I stuck to this person? Why can't I move on past them? And you did your research and you went in there and you're like, oh, they're a karmic person. Oh, I have a soul type them. Or, oh, they're, they're a false flame. Or, oh, they're an act, you know, they're activation person. You know, they're a channel of activation for my journey, for me moving forward, for me having, you know, gathering this knowledge and moving forward. So, you know, thank you, next. Absolutely. Right? So fucking grateful for my ex. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, Ari. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's keep going. Okay. So if you've just been wondering, yeah, okay, for some, yeah. Okay. For some of you, you're definitely going through a separation away from this person or this person just helped you to separate yourself, right? To help to cause the separation from all of these things, right? This activation in you and in, in you. I don't want to be this person for my kids or I don't want to be the person that I was. I don't want to be the person that I was taught to be in childhood or that I was forced to be, you know, or because of the things that happened in my childhood or looking at your kids now, like, no, like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not passing this on to them. Like I am growing, I'm growing up. I'm learning. I'm developing from these things and becoming a better version of myself or a more true version of myself right than I was allowed to be or that I ever let myself be okay so I'm gonna put these right back look at that soulmate okay yeah Okay, for some of you, uh, I've got a king of swords here, okay? Somebody that's finding out about you or that you're finding out about, doing some kind of research, okay? Yeah. About your blocks and about your insecurities, about things that are holding you back, like really getting into your mind and really digging in there and, and seeing the truth, right? Finding your truth about your insecurities and about the things that were holding you back, okay? Yeah, finding out the truth about this karmic energy. Okay. So pull for this king of wands for me, please, Spirit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> honeymoon so I, I definitely feel like that some of you felt like you were kind of in this like kind of blinded blissful state around this person okay 
But I'm hearing that for some of you, this person, it was like a taste of what real love could actually be like if it wasn't toxic, right? Yeah, soulmate. And that's falling here under this king of swords. Tell me more about this king of swords. Love yourself first. Yeah. Yeah. This king of swords, whoever this is, it's either your energy or somebody else's energy that's matching up to you, that's helping you, that's helping guide you to your soulmate or they are your soulmate, helping you, guide, gu guiding you towards them and teaching you how to love yourself first. Okay, for some of you, definitely this king of swords is representing like a, um, a spirit guide, right? The spirit guide guided you to this king of wands and reverse this, this karmic energy so that you could learn the lessons that you needed to be learned, you know, that needed to be learned through that person. And now the spirit guide energy is, you know, that wanted to highlight into you the blocks and the insecurities and things that you needed to learn, right? And now they're guiding you to love yourself first, to let go of those things and leading you towards like a soulmate energy in your life, okay? Mm -hmm. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Hmm. They're telling me to, yeah, new love here. They're telling me that this engagement is falling under with this karmic energy, uh, with this karmic masculine energy. So... I really feel like, like I said before, right? Like this karmic masculine energy showed you that this path existed, that soulmates existed, that spiritual awakenings existed, right? Um, through your interactions with them, you taught yourself this, your spirit guides taught you this. What else do you want to say about this spirit? Because we're kind of starting to repeat ourselves here. Okay, yes. You had to learn from this soulmate energy. You had to experience that because experiencing everything you did is calling in this new soulmate, right? Thank you, next. <laughs> true love. It's calling in true love for you, okay? This, this is the romance of a lifetime, yeah. So free yourself from any of these past entanglements. Free yourself from any of these past insecurities or anything. It's time to take back control of your life, absolutely. Free yourself from this past person, whoever they are. This could, and this could be a, a past version of yourself that was a karmic to yourself or like a, a, a within another person, okay? Yeah, past life relationship. Like I said, I feel like you, you, this is a person that you come into contact with again and again, lifetime after lifetime, if that's something you believe in, or this energy is something that you come into contact with again and again and again, until you finally have learned this lesson. Okay. So what about this King of Swords? More about this King of Swords, please. Make the effort. Yeah. This King of Swords energy here is inspiring you to make the effort, to make the effort. Great love is worth the steps you are being guided to take. Passion, leading you towards your passions. Okay, there's one to pull for this Wheel of Fortune. Okay, we're just we're jumping all over the place today. <laughs> Retreats. Okay, uh, the time has come to disconnect from the world. So like I was saying earlier, right, from the world, from dis disconnecting, the time has come for you to stop allowing other people and, you know, other people to tell you what your destiny is supposed to be, right? Finding inside of yourself and trust. Yeah. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Absolutely. So understand that all of this had to happen in the divine timing that it did because it was all part of your destiny, right? Don't wish, to, uh, some, I'm feeling like some of you maybe have been feeling like, I wish I never met that person or I wish I never experienced that. Don't wish that, you guys, okay? I understand how you're like, I regret that I had to learn through the pain, right? But understand that on the other side of it, when you're a much more healed version of yourself that's a lot further away from the pain, right? You're going to see, the purpose of meeting this person in your life and getting you ready for the world. You deserve love. Yeah. This new cycle is uh, this new cycle that's coming in is a new cycle of you understanding. I deserve to actually be loved. I deserve you are lovable that I am lovable that I am. I deserve that. Right. That's the energy that you're going into this new enlightenment. Right. 
And this person, whoever they were, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. They showed you your mask, your codependency, your control issues, all these things that you needed to let go of. How much you really weren't releasing all this energy from your past. This person did that. Or that's that was this per person's purpose. You were the one that took the time to, to look inside and to see that inside of yourself and learn these lessons. But this person, like I said, through this person... God used this person as a tool to teach you these, yeah, to these lessons is reconciliation. Meeting somebody, meeting this person activated this and it's, it's bringing on, right, this childhood. This could have been somebody that you knew from your childhood or, um, yeah, that's what I'm really getting. It's going to be very six of cups, right? Especially with that reconciliation and this childhood. Mm. Or just from the past. Learning, learning from the past and making better choices now is what I'm hearing. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I feel like this is with yourself. You could have had some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with this person, but I feel like this is with yourself and with your, in between you and your spirit guides. Um, soulmate. Getting to, getting to know each other. Yeah, soulmate. What's, what's up with the soulmate energy here? It wants me to clarify the soulmate energy. Okay. True love and attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. What was I saying, right? Being in this moment, being in this, this joy, this energy, this new lighthearted energy, this, yes, I love myself and I'm seeing the purpose of things in my past and I'm letting my past go, right? That is what's giving. That's what's bringing the soulmate energy into you, right? This true love energy, right? And it's because you're finding that true love inside of yourself, Beautiful. I love it. Okay. Let's get some of let's pull some of these and we'll end the reading. Okay. Let's pull some of these uh these immunology cards for a little bit of advice. Any more advice moving forward with this new start? Advice from spirit, please, for my collective moving forward. Thank you. Okay. Balance spirituality and practicality. Okay, full moon in Pisces and the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Know that the hard work that you are putting in is paying off. Okay, this tough cycle that you have been going through in the past is is ending. Okay, and will of fortune north node, you are stepping out of your comfort zone, right? Transitions. We talk about that. Transitions are tough. They are a tough cycle. They are they are uncomfortable, but it's it's time for you to step out of your comfort zone and, and experience this this new this new cycle because this is this is your destiny. This is what you were supposed to be doing. Absolutely. Balance spirituality and practicality. Yeah. Just balance your higher self and your lower self. Your higher self is starting to balance out and be reflected in your lower self and your 3D self. I think that's part of you, you feeling like you're becoming a truer, newer, ver like a new old version of yourself, right? Because you are reconnecting to your high, to your higher self, to this highest, purest version of you. Yeah. So hold your vision. Okay. Hold that vision of yourself. Hold those affirmations. Hold those manifestations. They are coming in. Okay. You know, hold them in your mind's eye. I don't like hold them type of like hold them in your mind's eye and keep you know, positive outlook and understand that your manifestations are becoming real. They are manifesting in the 3D, right? Oh, look at that. And a win-win outcome is forecast with that Libra scale, right? Balancing everything out, absolutely. And our new romantic cycle is beginning, absolutely. So this is bringing in a, a brand new cycle for you. And this is beautiful, right? Those scales of justice, those scales are balancing out for you. Yeah. What did I say? Your hard work is paying off. Absolutely. Okay. Understand that your hard work is paying off. This hard work of balancing out this higher and lower version of yourself is paying off. Okay. The end of a tough cycle approaches with a time to give rather than take, right? We talk about this all the time. It's a time for the universe to give to you instead of feeling, instead of you feeling like it's taking from you, right? It's changing over to a abundance mentality instead of this lack mentality that you had in the past because of the things you have been through in your, you know, in your past. Nothing is yet set in stone, right? Hold your vision because nothing is yet set in stone, right? 
right? There is a, a win-win outcome forecast, right? But stay, hold your vision, move, keep moving forward, okay, in this. And a new romantic cycle begins. Thank you. Be bold and make the first move. Surrender to the divine, okay? That's the first move you need to make is surrendering to the divine and let the divine show you. When the divine says, okay, it's time to go, go. When the divine says, okay, it's time to wait and, and, and be silent and be still and observe your surroundings, do that. And when the divine says, okay, it's time to strike, it's time to get up, it's time to move, it's time to be bold, it's time to do that, right? Surrender. Oh my gosh, what's underneath this? Luck is on your side, exactly, okay? Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius, okay? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, Spirit now is asking me to pull for signs for... um signs of positive people of like positive signs or, or positive energy coming into your life okay the energy is gaining momentum and your emotions are running really high okay maybe this is this needs to be a part of you surrendering all right i do see taurus i do see gemini is there anything else spirit no okay spirit saying no yeah confidence is key to your set for success be confident and hold that optimism in your mind okay Hold that optimism in your mind and understand that sometimes it's about surrendering and not exactly knowing who's coming towards you, right? It's about understanding that holding it in your mind that you are manifesting positive, you know, uh, positive, new positive cycle, new positive things into your life. And don't concentrate on a sing of it being a singular, a particular singular person. Just concentrate on the energy of the person that you want to come towards you, okay? If and, you know... If specifically, you know, so just concentrate on the energy that you want coming towards you within yourself, right? The, the, uh, you know, the energy that you want to attract and become and embody yourself. Okay. And then by embodying that energy, that's the energy that you are going to attract into you. Right. So just be aware of that. All right, you guys, right. Have confidence in yourself and know that this tough cycle is approaching. Hold that vision and moving forward. Okay. Absolutely. And if you've been guided to leave certain people or certain things behind, let them go. Let them go with grace and understand that, you know, that the universe is taking those things out of your life for a very specific purpose. Okay. Yeah. And remember, luck is on your side. Okay. Absolutely. Wow. This is beautiful, you guys. This energy is gorgeous. I love this. Okay, I'm so and so incredibly proud of you and happy for you guys. I'm loving the new direction that a lot of our energy is going in in the collective. Okay, it's really, the vibration is really rising. I can really feel it. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I'm so happy for you guys. All right, you guys have been putting in that work and I can feel it and it's showing. Okay, and people can tell in your life too. You're glowing. Okay, you're definitely going through a big glow up here and, pe and it's showing and people can tell. Okay. All right, lovelies, okay, if you, <laughs> if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, I hope this resonated with you because this is gorgeous energy. Thank you for joining me today, and I'm glad that you are resonating on this level, okay? If you're not, keep, you know, keep in holding in your vision that you are, right? Hold it in your vision it, it, that you are in this energy and that you are feeling this, okay? Okay, because that's what makes it true, baby, okay? Keep, keep that in mind, all right? And... <laughs> if you are a returning subscriber hello lovely thank you for being here again thank you very very much and either way you know think about subscribing think about joining the tribe if this really resonated with you check out some of my other past videos okay also don't you guys don't forget to check out my community tabs i'll be sharing um old um old videos and things like that that i feel like could resonate with like newer videos channeled songs messages i'll be doing some polls and stuff like that too coming up here soon so you guys take a look at, you know keep an eye out for those things excuse me all right and I love you guys so much. I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance. And I will catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, lovelies.